I tried to get that all in one video for you. Sorry. Just these last couple. So here we have the pH of my coffee that I'm drinking right now. It's found to be 5.12. So 10 to the negative 5.12 will give me my hydronium concentration, which will be 7.59 times 10 to the negative 6. So then I take my ion product constant for water, divide by hydronium, and I find that my hydroxide is 1.32 times 10 to the negative ninth molar. All right, these next two are pretty good. Here we see a solution of hydrochloric acid is being made at 25 degrees Celsius. Remember, that's like the magic temperature for my ion product constant to work. And I'm going to dissolve 4.56 grams of hydrogen chloride into enough water to make 5 liters. So I see grams, so of course I need to change that to moles, HCl 36.5, and so that is 0.125 moles of the hydrogen chloride. Going into make 5 liters, so 0.125 moles. 5 liters, so the molarity of this HCl is going to be 0 0.0250 0 molar. And that, of course, is the concentration of hydronium. And so to find the pH, I simply take the negative log of that, and when I do that, my pH is 1.60. Same process here with the barium chloride, or I'm sorry, barium hydroxide. We just have to remember, though, that barium hydroxide, two hydroxides. All right, but the same process. So you can pause the video and see if you get this final answer. So I have 16.95 grams of barium hydroxide you should have got a molar mass somewhere near 171, so 0 0.09893 moles. So I bring that over here. I divide that by my 2.5 liters. That's the molarity of the barium hydroxide, but two hydroxides, so I have to double that to get the hydroxide concentration, 0 0.0792 molar. Ion product constant divided by that, I get my hydronium concentration, 1.26 times 10 to the negative 13. And so ultimately, though, what is the pH? So I take the negative log of that, and I should have got a pH of 12.9. That's for this question number three. I'm sorry, number six. Third one on this video. And now the last one on this video. And this is just a little, can you read some indicator colors? So an unknown solution, we get a yellow color with brom cris, brom, bra, yeah, that one, brom cressel, brom, brom cressel, green, and an orange color with methyl orange. So is this solution acidic, basic, or neutral? What's the approximate pH? There's a little chart in your book, or you can look at this chart. So brom cressel, green, and methyl orange, they're right here. So yellow and orange, it's looking like my pH is approximately 4, which would be acidic. All right, so as far as the quiz is concerned, obviously nothing like that. That was just more for fun, because colors are fun. But you should know your Bronsted-Lowry stuff, conjugate acid, conjugate base pairs. You should know the relative strengths of some acids. I'm sure I'll ask you to rank them and explain why. Again, I could give you a reaction and tell you it's favored product-wise or reactant-wise. So what does that mean? And that, of course, means whichever direction it's going, it's favored. That means that is the direction of the weaker acid or base. And then the stuff we just did with our strong, knowing how to find hydronium and hydroxide and using the ion product constant of water. And then Pafun with pH any of those kinds of calculations. Should be wonderfully high scores, and I look forward to seeing you, fingers crossed, Monday.